African Americans um, have many uh, disparities when it comes to different medical conditions, but particularly for high blood pressure. And just to give you an idea, 55.8% of black men and 56.9% of black women have high blood pressure. That's above the average for the general U.S. adult population. A lot of the increased prevalence is due to those social determinants of health, such as lack of access to a facility or a green space to exercise because of crime or just poor lighting, lack of health insurance. You know, being unable to afford your medications plays a huge role in why it's difficult to treat high blood pressure in African Americans. And then all the structural race theories that play a role in why African Americans have a higher level of stress. Um, and so while there are some genetic risk factors, a majority of this discrepancy or this disparity in high blood pressure among African Americans is from the social determinants of health. And it's interesting because when we look at African Americans who um, migrate to the U.S., they actually don't have the same risk for high blood pressure. Their risk is lower than the African Americans who were born and raised here. And then their descendants of those immigrants develop the same elevated risk. And that has to do with the social environment, those social determinants of health that I just mentioned.